hi guys welcome in this video i will show you how to create puzzle stretch effect in photoshop without wasting much time let's start now come to file to create a new document or you can hit on ctrl plus n to hit to create a new document so you come here make sure you use these values 1080 by 1300 resolution and make sure it's in pixels now come here come down here and choose a background a background of white and create i have it here next we bring our image so we come here come here we need to cut out the image so come to the quick selection tool now select the subject Now I've subject is selected, hit on this max here, right click and convert to spot object. Now come to your move tool, hold it and drag it to the document and release it. Control T to scale it. Hit on OK. Now come to the single column marquee click on it and select image like this hit on ctrl g on the keyboard to duplicate now hit on ctrl t now hold and drag it like this drag it like this now let's delete the unwanted ones so we come to our rectangular mark you to select the place that you don't need it and hit delete on the keyboard ctrl d to deselect now come to filter distort and choose the polar coordinate choose the first one which is the rectangular to polar and hit ok ctrl t to scale it Ctrl T to scale it. So, Ctrl T to scale it. Hit on OK. Now come here and take it down like this. Um, go to your move tool and uh, scale it how you want it. let's scale it let's scale it all right so i think it's okay Control t to give it a little bit of scaling all right so now the scaling is done hit on ok and then create a max on it now choose your brush foreground should be black choose your brush soft round brush let's delete the wanted part so be in the layer max here and uh, delete make sure the flow is 100 percent so that you'll be fast on that now let's delete the unwanted part So we don't want this part we delete it now let's create an empty layer this is your color picker and pick the deep side take your brush and then paint on it like this now come to the blending mode and choose your linear dodge create another empty layer and then reduce the opacity and then let's create a shadow a shadow on it uh -huh. let's create a shadow now we have our shadow let's select all the layers right click and uh, group layers now the layers are grouped 
hit on control G to duplicate it and then control T now right click and flip vertical pull it down like this pull it down pull it down yes now hit an ok create a layer max control i to invert now pick your brush and let's create let's create a reflection we'll hit on it like this to create a reflection so we have our reflection now now hold it to control t and position it to the middle let's position it to the middle like this and then we are the final stage bring your your background color now hit on control shift alt and e to merge all layers right click convert to smart object come to filter come to camera raw filter let's change the colors like this that is it thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and then follow share for more videos bye bye